Hello everybody, this is Red Alert Facebook admin Wedge2099 bringing you another review. This time I'm going to review Transformers Animated Bulkhead. I just picked him up a couple days ago as I put on my uh, page and at first I was really not too sure if I wanted to get him or not but once I got him home, got him out of the pack and started messing with him, transforming him a couple times I was very happy with him. He, he, he does have a couple of concerns but that's just because of how old he is and whatnot. In fact he's not you know mint crisp, he was a trade-in uh, he had been owned before but I'm still happy with how everything went with him and this is actually the first time I'm going to act to transform him on camera this is the only thing I'm doing on this review. I don't have anything else to put together with it. So, like I said, this is animated bulkhead. I'm going to adjust the camera here a little bit. Here we go. And I really like him. He's got a cool little look to him. Very, very solid truck mode. Very, uh, kind of lacking in the, in the paint details, which, you know, it's natural for for these classes but I do plan on picking up Reaper labels for him in the next few weeks to another month or so and I'll put pictures up on on the site when I do have that done and taken care of I'm gonna go ahead and he does you know have this kind of unsightly gap here where his arms transform and it's not molded across to be solid but He's not going to be in robot mode that much with me, but I like him anyway. Let's go ahead and try and transform him here for you guys. This won't take too long. Start off, as the instructions state, by opening up the back canopy. Next up, come up, come right here between the two headlights. Pull up between them and pull apart to get the wings going up to the sides. Fold the top flap down, bring back, fold that flap down too. Now, this is kind of cool, little automorph spring action. Put your thumb right here between the two and press down. And he automatically springs his arms forward. Kind of cool. Next step, another automorph feature. Oh, no, not that step, I'm sorry. We're going to open up the legs, pull the legs down, disconnect, pull straight down, and the wheels here swivel straight up underneath to become his heels. And as long as you pose them right, it's going to work just fine. Now that you have them like this, you're going to take this little swing arm here, is going to actually automorph, transform the chest and head once you swing it, push it back a little bit. And pretty decent little head reveal. Next up, back flap, take it up, and lock it in place. And it's a very nice lock, it's very secure in there. Next thing you want to do is pull the shoulders out a little bit, give us some clearance. Take the tab right here, put it in that little slot right on the side there. It holds very securely on both sides. Doesn't click, but just slots in and very snug. Rotate the arms up, bring the shoulders down. Last step is to take, sorry, separate those. And give me one second to bring the camera up a little bit. There we go. Take the back, and you right here are these hinges where the back flaps are gonna fold toward you. Bring it down one click each side. Then you just fold the tops in. And there you have your bulkhead in his robot mode. 
very nice robot mode. He is kind of squat. I do believe everyone else has said it. He has very squat, short robot mode, but it's very packed in there, very tight. Nothing really flops around very much. These little flaps here on the sides, and this is the part that I was talking about because of age, get a little loose. If I can pick some furniture polish up, I'll tighten up those two joints right there. Between that and these kind of swinging a little bit loose every now and then, it's not bad. I also something else they don't put in the instructions is this little tab right here on his bicep. What you do is you put the elbow straight down, and you push up on it. Ooh, auto punch. <laughs> kind of wasted, but it's interesting. And he does have a pretty nice and balanced fig stance, like I did on the uh, picture I took before. You can actually stand, but you get everything in the right position. You can stand on one foot. See? Hands under there. He is on one foot, and that one foot only. Let me adjust the camera a little bit again. And these do not adjust to back to become a seat or anything like that. This is straight up, and that's it. Very poseable. Now the arms can go 360 with a little, you know, moving out of the way of such because of the back flaps. The legs, there is rotation right at the knee, forward and back. And if you wanted to, you could do them in the running pose. Like he's, like he's in a lot of times on the show with with a um, bumblebee running along with his little buddy. So I hope you enjoyed. I'm not gonna do a retransform into vehicle mode because it's very simple. Hope you all like him. If you have any have any questions or comments, post them in the Facebook page or in the comments here on YouTube. Either way, Bulkhead has enjoyed the, tr the review, and so have I. And like always, hope to all see you around sometime.